Hello everyone, Sunly here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly a Bedrock Season 2. I hope you're doing very fine today. Today we have a whole bunch of different plans and derps and shenanigans ready to go for this episode. First of all, we're going to be getting into some villagers, getting some amazing trades and amazing deals going. And we'll hop into that in just a minute. But also, I want to get some better gear. We got this petty netherite gear in the last episode. And it's pretty alright, but we need to like fully enchant this stuff and have it be just like basically maxed out. Like most of it doesn't have any real enchantments at all. And we need to fix that. And finally, I want to actually make this chunk base presentable. Because right now, it's kind of disgusting. It's just got like random blocks floating, hundreds of blocks up in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got some work to do. So let's hop into it, shall we? So first order of business and probably the easiest thing to do is to fully enchant all of our gear as best as we can. I don't think we'll have all four different protections because we just don't really have those resources at the moment. However, the first thing that we're going to do is fix our netherite pickaxe. And the way that we're going to do that is by putting it into a grindstone and completely unenchanting it. The reason being, that thing it just had Unbreaking 3 on it. Unbreaking 3 is not good on tools. Unbreaking 3 is actually the cause of block lag. If you have a like Unbreaking 3 on your tools, then you'll experience block lag. But if you don't have Unbreaking 3, you won't get any block lag. It's an extremely stupid thing. We gotta go downstairs because that's where our anvil's at. And now we can re-enchant this thing. So put it in there and get some mending. Bam. Put some fortune or maybe some efficiency on it. And bam, there we go. Netherite pickaxe is good to go. This thing will no longer have a block lag. We gotta do that for the shovel as well because this thing also has unbreaking. That's the wrong thing. We got to go back upstairs. <laughs> well, this isn't really much to brag about, but I just got this book from an enchantment table. Aquafendi, Luck of the Sea 1, Sharpness 2, Unbreaking 2, Loyalty 1, and Lore 1. Like, sure, it's six enchantments, but at the same time, like, <laughs> they're all terrible. <laughs> After a little bit of scavenging, a little bit of enchantment table using, and a little bit of spoilers for the future parts of this episode, we have put together all of the enchantment books that we need to pretty much max out all of our gear. So these things are going to be for the boots, this is going to be for the boots as well, that's for the pants, that's for the helmet, <laughs> and then we got some stuff for the sword, and then we just got a whole bunch of unbreaking and mending for all of the different uh, sets of armor, and in fact we also have a couple of bows ready to go for combining what i'm saying is we just need to get ourselves a whole bunch of levels let's get some experience <laughs> oh these farms are great i love them so much look at that there's a bug in the game where the xp orbs don't actually get absorbed into you for some reason so if we walk over here and then we walk back they still won't absorb i don't know it's really weird it's a stupid bug and it kind of like ruins the point of an experience farm if you can't even pick up the experience. There's like a lot of experience sitting there. Anyway, I gotta kill these guys before the server kills me for too much lag. <laughs> uh, see, look at that. That's a lot of experience orbs that are just not getting picked up. What? There's like 17 diamonds at the Guardian farm. I completely forgot about all of these resources. I did a little bit of strip mining while we were building this farm. This has just been sitting over here this entire time. I really needed those diamonds last episode. Jeez, I'll take all of this. This is all great things. I love it all. Yes, thank you past me for being sloppy. This is all gonna come in very helpful. Oh no, that was that was bad. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what I did there, but that was bad. <laughs> uh, somehow the guardians escaped. I must have clicked on a trapdoor. <laughs> Uh, okay, great. Let's put on the chest plate and let's go in there like a Spartan, like a man, basically. I'm wearing like Spartanish armor. I don't know. I feel like just doing this the, the strong man way. <laughs> go in here with the rapid fire auto clicking key and just smash everybody in the face. Oh my god, there's go oh there's gonna be guardians all down the tunnels. Uh, okay, time to run away because now they're laser beaming me. Oh. And gas, too. <laughs> this is actually pretty good target practice because these guys bounce around a lot. And yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Would recommend. Release Guardians more often. 
And with this final enchantment, we are pretty much completely done enchanting and upgrading all of our netherite gear. So we just basically need to put unbreaking on the chest plate because these things do actually run out of durability. Like pretty much all the armor was nearly broken by the time we got around to enchanting it. But now we have pretty much a fully enchanted helmet, fire protection, aquafinity, respiration, unbreaking, mending. Chest plate is just unbreaking, mending. The pants got protection four. The boots got blast protection feather falling and depth strider the sword has pretty much all of the things except knockback which i don't want and then we just need to get a sharpness five for that the bow is doing pretty good it's just missing a punch two the pickaxe is pretty much good the shovel needs a silk touch and then we just need to make ourselves a netherite silk touch pickaxe which we actually have one it's called a pick ashley <laughs> we just need to turn this into a netherite one but we'll have to do that uh maybe later because we need Need another piece of netherite as you can see all of our netherite is busy uh being busy in our afk fish farm so now we are rocking a pretty much completely maxed out god armor which i am really happy about i like to get this stuff as early as i can because that way you got all the tools you need to do whatever you want and you're not gonna die while doing it also netherite just looks a beautiful look at this stuff it's so good and shiny so again, here is all of the enchantments of the armor that we are rocking. Of course, we are missing a few enchantments here and there, but nothing too major. Mainly, we just need to get Silk Touch on our shovel and then some sort of protection on our chest plate. Not a big deal. Some punch and some sharpness really easy things to get your hands on and then we also need to turn pick ashley into a netherite one we need to enchant this axe and turn it into netherite and then of course we have this netherite hoe which is called subscribe <laughs> the people on stream uh demanded that it be named subscribe and basically this thing just needs to get some silk touch as well because hoes are an extremely powerful tool in the nether update really really good to actually have one of these and yes Having a hoe made out of netherite is worth it. Don't you think that that's a waste of netherite? Because that is actually the best investment that you can make. One thing we really are missing for our gear now is names. We need names for absolutely everything that we have and more. So if you have any witty, funny, quirky name suggestions, please let me know down in the comment section. If you reply to the pinned comment, that's probably going to be the best way for me to see it. Because, man, there's a lot of comments nowadays. <laughs> Speaking of a lot of things nowadays, we just... Just broke 250,000 subscribers on this channel. An utterly insane number. I, I never thought that that would ever happen. Jeez. Thank you all so much for the support. That is a quarter of a million subscribers. A huge milestone. Seriously, I cannot thank you all enough. You've absolutely changed my life over the last four years of doing YouTube. And it's been a really fun journey. I wouldn't take back a second of it. And that was, that was actually our yearly goal. So at the beginning of the year, because every year I make a, a little goals video at the, the start of it. And uh, the 250,000 was like our yearly goal. And now we broke it early July. So that's really something. <laughs> Who knows where we'll be at the end of the year? I don't know. That's really crazy. We've never passed a goal like that early in the year. So thank you all so much for the support. Seriously, I hope you've enjoyed all of the current videos and all of the future ones as well. I have so many things I want to do. I could probably release a daily video every single day for like six months and still have like just ideas popping off left and right. Of course, I can't release daily videos because I'm not a like video making machine. One thing that makes it even more crazy is that last year this time early July of 2019 we only had 50,000 subscribers so within exactly one year we gained 201,000 we quintupled the channel <laughs> Uh, YouTube is such a weird thing when it comes to numbers. I've been doing this for a couple of few years, four years now, and the numbers are just absolutely ridiculous. Every single time I'm like, okay, yeah, I get used to a new one, and then BAM! It just, it gets crazy. The numbers on YouTube, the numbers on the internet, it's an extremely strange thing. And I'm not sure how to feel about it. <laughs> That's about all I really gotta say. Thank you! Thank you very much, and 
onwards and upwards. Maybe someday we'll break a million. Who knows? At this rate, geez, anything's possible. <laughs> so now we're gonna go hang out with Zloy and Lee R for a little while and do a bunch of fun stuff with villagers getting the best trades in all of Bedrock Edition. If you would like to know the exact mechanics behind how we're gonna do this, I released a tutorial about it recently. You can check that out in the upper right or down in the description of this video. So while you guys are watching that, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work around our chunk base here so when i come back to you we should have a much nicer looking area hi <laughs> hi, <Zloy>. hi. <laughs> hi hi yes welcome silent back to truly bedrock hi i'm back oh dear we missed you so much how how's the trip where, where'd you get the enchant how, how how's you enjoying your netherite everything already ne nether is good nether is good i was using a wooden sword for like until yesterday and now i have yeah and now you right. switch to a stone one yeah I, i've upgraded <laughs> significantly stone armor look at that it's beautiful so anyway yeah welcome back to true better and welcome to the thing liara and i have been you know slaving away for basically forever i we like it villagers villagers I, mostly because i'm just trading tons and tons of quartz from them over here Ooh. uh for the for the nether hub but uh, yeah. yeah, we got such such wonderful things as like mending fourteen emeralds. Uh, nice. There's somebody in here with efficiency for five uh, for for twenty two, and then an idiot over here with efficiency for fifty. <laughs> um, an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what? Uh, His name is all like colorful and stuff. <laughs> Fishermen to buy the cod and everything uh, from the Guardian. Yeah, these guys buy. Why do Fletcher? Sticks. Sticks. You can trade thirty-two sticks for an emerald. Okay, and so it, it's super cheap. It's like the most ridiculously cheap trade that there is. Like the most convenient thing. We just go chop down a couple spruce trees. Oops, sorry. Chop yeah, which is why we've been chopping down these spruce trees, and which is why we actually have you here. Hmm. Okay. Because to be completely honest, this entire area was built. With the premise that you're gonna build a raid farm. Yeah, no, probably. I feel I feel pressured. <laughs> you I mean, should be. Yeah. Bell of panic. <laughs> <laughs> there are hours upon hours of me crafting sticks. Yeah. Leading up to this moment. <laughs> I, f I feel I feel sorry for your loss. Uh, now, question before we get into raid farmness, uh, who is your least favorite person here? I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, there is this one guy okay. with 51 emeralds for an efficiency 5 book. I yes. actually like have it on record of me promising to publicly execute him if oh. he happens to, if I ever happen to get another efficiency guy. And then I got another efficiency guy and it's for 22. So, <laughs> Well, perfect. Because I was thinking we do something better than a public execution, Zoy. So you guys know how like you, you think 30, 32 is cheap. We can, we can get it, it for, for one. I'm listening. Yes. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Well, I'm going to need you to eat a villager, Zoy. I mean, that's a big ask, but I shall, I shall fetch my, what, what, what's the thing that you put on your chest to not stain it? The, a bib? <laughs> yes, I shall fetch my bib. I was thinking you were going to say dentures. <laughs> All right, so we got a plan. There happens to be a very, very convenient zombie spotter, like 10 blocks away. And we just need to get yep. this guy out. You got a fishing rod, Zoy? I got a fishing rod, Zoy. Can you use it? I can't aim with it because... Oh, well, oh, we I don't, don't even need, need it. <laughs> yeah, he just likes me anyway. Oh, you actually went with the name I suggested. Yeah, Hungry Boy. I, I did not expect you to. It's so stupid. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing thorns, so... Uh, oh. Yeah, he's already pretty low health because somebody turned on the Trident Killer. <laughs> Yankee got disoriented. Yeah, just also, there's, a go there's an Iron Golem on the loose. Uh, <gasps> there's an Iron Golem approaching. <laughs> an Iron Golem rapidly and uh, oh, he it is... Yeah, he doesn't care about the zombie. I'm like, oh, he killed the zombie! <laughs> Revenge of the hungry boy. <laughs> of all the things, like, thank He's you. the sequel. Yes. And <laughs> the one <laughs> trader instantly goes in. <laughs> yep, uh, I'm about to head, head out. Okay, well, I mean, he got in the he got in the boat. Um, is he gonna is he gonna do the thing? <laughs> 
I, I'm starting to think that they're both idiots. <laughs> yeah, they are not smart, are they? No. Well, ramp up your Benny Hill music. We're going for the kill. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Uh, this one's got Slack, Rogue, me, oh and Pocky, if anybody needs any of those heads. <laughs> uh... Get out of the... No! Go for the villager! Stop eating silent! He's already dead! <laughs> oh, you just flipped him around like four times. Come on, get the villager guy. Get the villager. Get the delicious moron. How hard is it to just eat a guy? Now, for someone this horrible with fishing rod, I should probably stop using fishing rod. There, oh. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and he instantly goes into the boat. Whatever it works. Was this? Uh, was this what we're trying to accomplish? I maybe. I I'm not sure at this point, Slay. <laughs> you know, so I'm sorry. <laughs> what are we doing? We started to think that this isn't working. Ow. <laughs> you know, maybe we should get him back into a boat or something. Oh no, I got a head! <laughs> My head! Oh no! <laughs> Foxy's gonna kill me! Uh, bye, head. Oh, he's doing hey, it! Hey, he's getting killed! He's getting killed! Put, put oh blocks no, over. he's put getting blocks. killed! Oh no, he's out of the boat! No! Get him in here! Get him in here! I got water, I got water. Don't die! Don't die! I got water. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hey, Push him into the hole. We're Push water. him into the hole. We have water the villager. Yes. Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> I think he's good. Is no, he... okay. Okay, now there we go. Cold, 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 now he's good. Cold, 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 cold. We're professional. Our idiot is dead. Our idiot is also alive. We did it, gang. We're professionals. <laughs> Yeah. He kept the name. I love that he kept the name. Uh, outside of Vindication, why are we doing this again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I never explained this to you guys, did I? No, not oh, really. That's no. why the other villager wouldn't get into that boat. <laughs> it had the traitor in it. <laughs> <laughs> he was invisible. That makes sense. <laughs> oh, my God. Hide and seek champion 2020. <laughs> nice. Um, so, yeah. I, I kind of forgot the point. Oh yeah, we were gonna cure this guy. Yes, we need to we need to get him out of there and then cure him now. Okay, cool. And that will improve just his trades or 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 what? Yeah, he won't be so stupid anymore. But also, everyone around him is gonna get smarter too. So every should single get, person like... in your trading hall should go down to one emerald trades. Yay! Why Yay! did we do this? <laughs> he's back to his uh, former this... glory with his name even oh, no he's he's not no his former glory was 51 emeralds for an efficiency 5 book right now he's selling it for one <laughs> let me say this yes one emerald yes hey look one can i borrow five emeralds solves everything <laughs> yes murder and revitalization oh solves God many issues one stone for one emerald over here oh what no. okay what are these sticky boys doing oh sticky yes boys were not affected whatsoever they they seriously are like not not, uh, not to know about oh my god guys, guys. Close enough so they're one coal one, one diorite for an emerald. what are you are you joking me this is this no. is OP. This yes. is the most OP thing. Yes, one emerald for a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> one emerald for a mending book. <laughs> yes. One emerald for a fortune book. One emerald for the looting book. One emerald for an efficiency five. Okay, well, yes. this is good and great, but if we can't buy any books, then we'll have to do it again. Okay, how long the timer is, though? I don't know. Timer not forever long. So much, All much right. quick is good. <laughs> you know, just a little public execution, just making a, an example out of someone, apparently just really whips them into production. It does! You would be surprised. Just a little bit of murder, you know. A little usual. bit of murder to make that workplace efficiency skyrocket. <laughs> Meetings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> until prices improve. Uh, yes. Uh, Every time I think we can't have a better metaphor for capitalism, here we met. <laughs> Oh, we're terrible people. 
We are. We but really you know are. what? We're just playing the game how it's meant to be played. I'm sorry. <laughs> On top of that, it just hit me. But not only do I get to kill the idiot, but I get to kill the idiot <laughs> over and over again. Yes, you do. You get to kill him as many times as you want. <laughs> Perpetually dead villager. <laughs> Uh, protection four bam oh my god right. <laughs> um well i think i have all the fire protection i'll ever need oh no <laughs> Did Did you you up? Up? oh dear he gave me 11. <laughs> my god oh god okay don't shift click don't shift click <laughs> Wait, 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 so one stone for one emerald? Hold on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I've been over here doing. Dude! Uh, the sugar box has stone. It's behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stole all the stone already. It also has uh, coal, and they are trading one coal for an emerald. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can do that too. Oh, this is beautiful. I love it. Right, Silent, do you like Do you like the names of the, the, the masons? Oh my god, I didn't even notice the names of the Masons. <laughs> Sherry, Barry, Terry, uh, Gary, Harry, Mary, Larry, Mike. Why, why is there a Mike in there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's just asking why there's a Mike in there. <laughs> why? Of all the things, a Mike. Well, doing this entire thing once is actually really, really cool. But here's the thing, this effect wears off, doesn't it? Yeah, I, it's actually lasted a very long time. We've been here for like an hour, it's it's still going. <laughs> also, uh, while this is really nice, but we actually didn't cover all of the villagers we would like. Like, like really, the fisherman selling for one salmon, uh, like emerald, is fine. But here are our main targets, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> literally the main targets. <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a fun, but it is now. Uh, uh, these yeah. guys are already pretty generous with their donations of, you know, green stuff. I want to see what happens if we, you know, do the rest. Yeah, we need them to be one stick for one emerald. That yeah, if happen. we do get, it's going to be absolutely hysterical. So, I'll be honest, this entire time I just went out to grab some tea, and in the meantime, Liara traded, like, a lot of them. And silent put together a whole system. And yeah. uh, what, what does it do? Well, the whole system is literally like 40 blocks of rail. Anyway, so follow me. Now, we had to actually move the zombie far, far away because it was targeting all the other villagers, which is not good. But now it's hidden down here and now it's targeting the one villager. The, the an uh -huh. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's dead. <laughs> That so, is his name and sure name, yes. Yeah, basically. You just send him down here, he gets killedified, and then you can press lay button, and then he gets sent back other direction. And then we go over here, and then bam. Ooh. Oh, he went other... That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go press the button again. <laughs> One way or another, the guys here, I got the Zipoche. Apple. Yeah, okay, so now that we've cured him here, he should cover the entire thing, I think. Mm, in hopefully. theory. Most of it, at the very least. I think he won't hit the farmers, but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god, does this mean we're gonna have rotten flesh for one? Also? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, look. There has to be a limit to our greed, okay? <laughs> there has to be somewhere in there. We're Just... telling them that we want them to give us an emerald for a toothpick, okay? <laughs> that, 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 that's pretty greedy. Again, this, uh... we can't go beyond a stick for an emerald. There's, yeah, there's we can. The it's a rock bottom. There's no digging further down. I mean, yeah, no, I guess there's not. I mean, we can, this is going to also give us at one each we already had cod at one each uh we this this may give us potatoes but the rotten flesh is the funniest to me for some reason yeah rotten yes. flesh for one rotten flesh for one emerald that'll be a thing oh jeez. Yes. i mean at the spider spawner and at the you know zombie spawner that we got here yeah. we can 
to convince both the Fletchers and the Fisherman to cooperate. I have a question though, uh, Silent, is he gonna pop off of the minecart, minecart where, once he, you know, grows up to be a real boy? Uh, you know, he is in his right to do so. He probably will, yes. There we go. He should be fine. He should just get right back in. He likes yeah, the roller coaster. There he goes. And he did. And, and he... he's gone. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> he didn't get a chance. He gets straight back to the re zombie side. fight. And won't you? Yes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Beautiful. Even better. One rotten flesh for one emerald. <laughs> I'm suffocating. <laughs> Our greed this knows no this... bounds. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh. They, 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 they live in restock with till this trade. Yes. What? No. They'll take Just a while no. to restock, but it'll be fine. This feels wrong. I'm like... the flesh and the string. <laughs> <laughs> this is so overpowered. Cool for one. They, like, they instantly all locked off. They're like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> the game says yes, but the logic <laughs> says no. You yes. don't get to. <laughs> so, <sighs> actually, what you can do is you can pay one emerald for a bucket of cod, and then yeah. you can dump that out, kill the cod, uh -huh. and then sell the cod back for, to them for an emerald. <laughs> you get a free bucket out of it. <laughs> yeah, free bucket. Look at that. <laughs> and then you get That's free water. Just generating buckets, you know. <laughs> Yes, it's a bucket farm. <laughs> uh, so even better, one wheat for one emerald, one pumpkin for one emerald, one melon block for one emerald. All of that is incredibly farmable. You know, there's got to be a game in this somewhere of like, like yeah. musical heads or something. <laughs> something or other. Anyway, uh, uh... now that we like. It really is tempting to just never stop trading with these guys. Yes, we've yeah. been here for like two hours now. <laughs> yeah. But um, the thing is, we, we gotta kind of decide on some things. Especially now that we have this many villagers. Uh, especially now that we have the way of getting basically anything for incredibly cheap. What sort of thing do we want to trade, you know, on top of the, this thing? Oh, well, I happen to make you a list. It's right here on the wall. Well, that is incredibly kind of you. Yes, you got a list of chores now. <laughs> Amazing. I like a one side just say, sign just says every kind of protection from librarians. <laughs> and like, for one, librarians are incredibly harmless. So I doubt <laughs> we need to. <laughs> there should be a comma in there. <laughs> but also, uh... fire protection and uh... blast protection and regular protection, right? And, and projectile, projectile right. protection. Yes. That's like four different villagers or on level four or on a level five or four. Yeah, level four. Do you know how much time this is gonna be? Well, you haven't <laughs> seen the rest of the list, have you? <laughs> Keep going. Toughness five, impaling five, smite five, respiration three, aqua affinity. Hi. <laughs> I have a few demands then. Oh, okay. And you okay. have to... You'll have we need a reliable source of emeralds and what i was thinking is we really can farm the bamboo the pumpkins the sugarcane and we certainly will need sugarcane because books yeah of course i'm glad that you agree so yeah i don't know can you redstone something like that or I mean, a raid farm yeah i can make a raid farm what why do we still need a raid farm with like especially if we're gonna like sugarcane farm and everything Teddy bears. Totems. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. Yeah, I need some totems. Have you seen how many times I've died on this server? I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> okay, yeah, but I'll, I'll get on a raid farm. I got some good ideas for that. Sugar cane farms are the only ones I actually know how to do, so I can do that. Uh, so all of us have our work cut out for this, so let's ignore it for like 15 episodes and then reconvene at this very spot. And that is the story of how we got all of the things for just one emerald, and we got that one emerald by trading one stick or one rotten flesh. Seriously, a villager trading is extremely overpowered nowadays on Bedrock Edition, and I think 
honestly, we deserve it. With all the bugs and glitches that we put up with on Bedrock Edition, we deserve some nice things every now and again. So hopefully they'll leave it in. So anyway, I've done a lot of work on the base, about five hours of planning, visualizing, building, resource-like thinking aboutness, and all kinds of stuff. And it just so happens that all of that five hours wasn't actually on the Truly Bedrock server. It was in a creative test world, and I have absolutely zero footage to show from it. So let's go jump over to my creative world. Ah, uh, yes, this is the very nice creative world. This is actually my redstone world, but like very, very far away from anything. There's some iron farms and everything. So what we're going to be building is a modern-ish skyscraper. So the actual skyscraper is to our left, but this right here is like a little scale model of it. And I think it's very nice. I like building little scale models of my builds, especially bigger ones. I want them to really look all right. And building little scale models actually worked very well for me over the years, the few times that I've done bigger builds. So here's like a little eight by eight of the actual tower. Of course, there's not a ton of detail that you can do to it, but if we get a little ways away, we can do a big reveal, build the tension, and bam, there it is. This is gonna be the skyscraper that we built. It should be really awesome. This took a lot of time just to like get all the other things right. And this was heavily, heavily inspired by Hex Regulus. I've actually, like, I remember building stuff from Hex Regulus, like, years and years ago on Silent Survival. Wasn't aware that he was still making videos, but I went to Google for, like, some inspiration for this kind of build, and one of his videos popped up. I'll have it linked down below and in the iCards. You should definitely check it out. He makes some amazing videos. And, yeah, his, one of his, like, thumbnails totally caught my eye, and I fell in love with it. So that is more or less less what we've gone for here. I added a bit more details to it in certain areas and changed up certain aspects for it. His build was a lot bigger, so I had to shrink it down, of course, to 16 by 16. But I think this actually looks really, really nice. We added the blackstone in there as a nice little contrast. It does need some more detailing, and it needs just a couple more bits and bobs, but I actually really, really like it. There's nothing too fancy on the top because we're going to have something special on there once we actually build it. And then eventually we'll also have an iron farm above this as well. So it is going to be a tall boy. So you might think parts of this are really, really flat. And that is kind of a necessity. We only have a 16 by 16 area to work with. And remember, we have to build an entire base inside of this thing. So we really do not have that much room to work with. I think the inside is now about a 10 or 11 wide area. Area. As you can see, it's really not that much to work with at the final bits. So verticality is going to be our friend. Also, you can see that this is a lot of glass. Yeah, that's going to be really fun. <laughs> so we're definitely going to have to spend a little while gathering all the materials. So I have an idea of how we're going to get an exact materials list for this thing, and that includes structure blocks. So as you can see, if we load this thing up in a structure block, you can actually see the entire lower layer. And all we need to do is adjust the Y level, and then bam, we got basically the entire tower we can actually save this to a file. So save in memory, save, bam. We're going to take this and run with it over here. And then if we hit the load button, then we should actually be able to just bam, duplicate that entire tower. And now we can run a couple more commands to get the full materials count. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a command to destroy every single one of these blocks. And then of course they'll drop as items. Now the thing about that is that glass doesn't like just drop. It requires a silk touch. So what we need to do is replace all of those with a different block. I'm just going to replace them with iron blocks. It's easy enough. So press that button. Bam. All the glass is now iron. And we can go ahead and remove all of these things things and put that back. So now if we go ahead and run this command right here, that should drop every single thing as an item. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is mildly laggy. Zero blocks filled. And there we go. That is a whole lot of items. So now we can flick that lever. All of those items are right there. And I can go into survival mode, game mode S. That way I don't like, you know, basically 
delete all those items from creative mode. Look how beautiful that is. So now I can just throw all of this into a chest. <laughs> all right, so the base materials for the tower is basically just this chest right here. Not actually that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot more quartz. And then we need a whole ton of cyan glass, which is probably gonna be the most problematic material in this entire build because we do not have any cactus green. We're legitimately gonna have to build an uh, like a cactus farm. Do you know how many times I've actually used the cactus farms that I build in Minecraft? Literally never. <laughs> now we need a cactus farm. This is kind of embarrassing. Please do let me know your thoughts about this build in the comment section. If you have any suggestions, any like theories on what could make it better. All of you builders in our community, please let me know what you think about this. Any additional details we should add. Put all of that stuff down in the comment section. I would very much appreciate it because I am not a builder. Builder. So today's actually been a very productive episode. We got all of those villagers set up and ready to go for instant curing. We got our gear basically fully enchanted and we got a plan for how this base is going to look. And it's actually going to go all the way up to that netherrack platform right there. So it's going to be a very large base. I hope you guys are looking forward to that getting built. I think in the next episode, we're actually going to build a slime farm under our chunk base because I'm probably not going to have all those materials ready for a couple of episodes. But don't you worry, we got plenty of things to do in the meantime. And I am really, really looking forward to this build. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode of Truly Bedrock. If you have, then of course, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out the video and the channel a ton. If you are new here and you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then make sure to subscribe, of course. And I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. Don't forget the name suggestions for these items. And of course, leave your feedback for the skyscraper. Check out Hex Regulus. He is a beautiful person and he definitely deserves your subscription. All that stuff can be found down below the video. Have a good one. And then there was silence.